In this video, we're going to learn how to count the odd numbers in an array using C. So first we'll declare an int type array called array, which will initialize with the numbers 3, 5, 8, 6, 14, 15, 18, 21, 33, and 4. And we have 10 numbers total in this array because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is the length of the array. We'll store that length into an int type variable called length with int length is equal to 10. Now each number in this array is stored at an index. So for example, three here is stored at the index zero, five is stored at the index one, eight is stored at the index two, and so on for the rest of the numbers in this array. Now an odd number is an integer, which when divided by two will give us a remainder of one. So for example, nine is an odd number and nine divided by two is going to give us four remainder one. And this remainder of one when dividing nine by two tells us that nine is an odd number. Whereas if we look at an even number like eight, eight divided by two is going to give us four remainder zero. And this remainder of zero when dividing eight by two tells us that eight is an even number. So we can check if a number is odd by dividing that number by two. And if we get a remainder of one, we know we have an odd number. Now there's an operation in C called modulus. The modulus operation is going to give us the remainder of a division operation. So for example, 9% 2, where percent is the modulus operator, is going to give us 1, because 9 divided by 2 has a remainder of 1, whereas 8 modulus 2 is going to give us 0, because 0 is the remainder of 8 divided by 2. So to count the odd numbers in the array, what we'll do is examine each number in the array from the first number in the array all the way to the last number in the array. And each time we'll check to see if that number is odd by using this test here. We'll divide the number by two using modulus. And if we get a remainder of one, that will tell us we found another odd number. In that case, we'll increment a running count of the total number of odd numbers that we found. Now to examine each number in the array, we'll use a for loop. We'll have here a for loop with a counter variable i, which will initialize to zero. So we'll have four int i is equal to zero. That means i is going to begin here at the first index in the array. And so in the first loop iteration, we'll check to see if this number here is odd. Then what we'll do is increment i by one with each loop iteration. So in the next loop iteration, i is going to be here at the index one. And we'll check to see if this number here is odd. Then in the next loop iteration, i is going to be here at the index two, and we'll check to see if this number is odd, and so on. Now what we'll do is stop this loop once i is no longer less than length, because once i is no longer less than length, that will tell us we've gone past the end of the array and we can stop. So we'll have here i is less than length for the loop condition. So we'll stop this loop once i is no longer less than length. Then in the loop body, we'll check to see if the element in the array at the index i that we're currently examining is odd by dividing that number by two using modulus. And if we get a remainder of one, that tells us we found an odd number. And in this case, we'll increment the running count of the total number of odd numbers that we found. Now we'll declare an int type variable called total odd, and we'll initialize that variable to zero. This variable is going to keep track of the total number of odd numbers that we found. We initialize this variable to zero because initially we haven't counted any odd numbers yet. Then every time we find an odd number, we'll increment total odd by one with total odd plus plus. So when this loop is done, we'll have counted all the odd numbers in the array. Then we can output that count using printf. So down here we'll call printf and we'll pass it a string with total odd colon and percent %d to output an int value followed by backslash n for a new line and we'll output total odd. And in this array, we have one, two, three, four, five odd numbers. Now, if we save compile and run the program, we do get that we have five odd numbers. Now, one more thing we could do is put this logic inside a function so we could call the function in different places in our program. Let's do that. Up here, we'll declare the function. The function is going to have an int return type because the function is going to return the total number of odd numbers found in the array it's passed as an argument. We'll call the function itself count odd. 
and the function is going to be passed the array and the length of the array as arguments, swap the parameters int array and int length. Then we'll copy this and supply a definition of the function down here. So down here we'll paste this. Then for the function body, all we'll do is cut and paste the logic. So up here, we'll take this and we'll cut it. And then we'll paste it into the function body. And we've used the same parameter names for the function as the variable names that we had before. So all this code is going to work exactly as it's written. All we'll do is return the total odd count with return total odd. Then we'll call this function in the main function. So up here, we'll call count odd and we'll pass it the array and the length of the array as arguments. And we'll store the return value into an int type variable called total odd. And if we save, compile, and run the program, we'll again get a total number of five odd numbers. So this is how we can count the total number of odd numbers in an array using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.